Okay, we're going to create a brand new brush from this image. I've just taken an image that I shot while I was downtown. It's snow and ice and salt in a transit shelter. But I thought because of some of this texture here, it would make a good brush. So once you have your image, you open your image. Now brushes are limited uh, to a maximum of 2,500 pixels in dimension. So what I want to do is I want to actually use this whole image. So I'm going to change the image size so that our DPI is 300 DPI because I do want to be able to use this in a high-res photo at the appropriate maximum size. Um, that way um, you can always go 300 DPI and you can make it smaller, but you shouldn't take a brush that is only 400 pixels at 150 DPI and make it bigger. So um, we're going to have a really big brush so that we can utilize it in all sorts of sizes. Okay, and brushes util utilize a black, the blacks and the whites in an image, so therefore we actually don't need a color image. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the image and make it grayscale. Um, if you were doing custom, you know, fancy um, color correction to an image and you want it grayscale, this isn't how you would do it. But for our purposes here, you would go ahead and use the grayscale tool, take all the color out, and then all we have is black and white and shades of gray. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add contrast to the image and we need to bring our blacks to get as black as possible and our whites to become um, whiter. These are not pure white. So there's a number of ways we can do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a few different adjustments. First, I'm going to start with exposure because here we can um, get quite a dramatic um, change and get a lot of interesting detail in here in between the black and the white. And we can also adjust the gamma so we can get back some of our shadow in here, get back some more detail. And we don't want to go too far because we want to keep some texture. And that's probably as far as I go in the exposure. And then you can try another couple. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a brush. And um, we want to bring our blacks to be a little blacker. So we can use levels here. And we want to purify our whites a little more. And we want to darken our mid-tone grays. So that's pretty um, nice contrast here. It'll have, add for really good texture. That's good. And then um, what we'll do is, this is OK for now. There's some things I want to watch for is I don't really want a sharp edge here. And I don't want one here. And I'd like to avoid it here. And um, here. I'd like to not have this uh, edge here. The corner side edges are fine, but sometimes when you're using grunge, you want to have a nice consistent edge. So I'm just going to quickly um, do a little erasing. Because it's a brush, it doesn't have to be perfect. You could go ahead and just take out some of the things that you might not want. Okay, And that's OK. Um, I think that'll do. Okay, so I think I've manipulated my image enough where it's good enough for what I, the purposes I want. And so now what we want to do is we want to be able to select this image. And because I want the maximum image, I'm just going to use Select All or Command A. And we're going to select the whole image. Okay, And then it's pretty um, straightforward. What we do is we go to Edit, and then you Define Brush Preset. And I'm going to call this Snow Grunge two because I happen to have another snow grunge uh, photo. I'm calling it snow grunge so I know which photo um, I referen I'm referencing for uh, the brush. And then you just click OK. Now, right now we don't see anything that happened, but if you actually go to your brush palette and you go and scroll down to the very bottom, it will add it, snow grunge two, to your uh, brush palette. So now we can use our brush. Let's go ahead and select it. Palette. And if we create a new document, um, with, for all intents and purposes, it can be any color. I'm going to add a couple layers here. Let's fill this layer with gray. And let's do a little bit of text. We'll just call it grunge. And let's make it really big so we can see the effect. And then I'm just going to duplicate this layer because I want to have um, the black on top 
and then I'm going to change the text color to red just so we can see it and it's going to be pretty obvious. So what we want to do is we want to be able to the red from the second layer to come through the black um, on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask and we'll use that in our layers. We select the layer, which is the black one. We use the mask tool and now my mask is selected. Then in order to, um, this is the way that you can manipulate uh, photos without damaging the original um, layer. So a mask you can manipulate and the word grunge is not changed. It's not um, affected in any way. So we'll go ahead and select our brush and the uh, mask brush utilizes black and white. It has to be selected to black. Okay. And so there we go. We select our brush and when we go to use it, we can see if we right click right click we can see that we have multiple um, brushes here but mine's the bottom in the list and the pixel diameter is 2600 if you wish to make it smaller just drag it and there's your pixel dimension and see you can actually see there's our brush and what it looks like so if I want to have it the width of the word grunge I'm going to need to make it a little bit bigger there we go that should do it so here's what I want to do, is I want to make the top of the word grunge really grungy. So there, you can see the red starting to come through. And I mean, you can play with it. I've got my settings on 50% opacity. So let's say the next one I want to bump it up a little bit, because I'm going to use this corner, and I want it to sort of layer itself. And that's how you use the brush. And you can go ahead and you can also do um, different uh, effects with the brush and see how it said the, co the color burn. Now we've got this sort of burn look. And you just do it in layers on your mask. And that's all being done on the mask, as you can see over here. And that's how you use your um, brand new tool in a uh, cool brush. You can do that with any photo, flower, whatever you like. And um, hopefully you find that useful. <laughs>